Today we're going to be talking about habitat and how you can look in certain parts of the state in order to find your favorite animals. So corn snakes are habitat generalists. Uh, you find them all across the state of Georgia and the southeast, but they actually thrive in many different types of environments. You can find corn snakes, just like our friend Corny, in the woods, just like this. They often live in the detritus and in the leaves. The fall leaves are actually really good at keeping them warm in the winter, too. One thing that's pretty cool and a good identification is you can see this checkerboard pattern on their belly, but more importantly, how flat their stomach is that's really important in adding, uh, aiding in semi-arboreal locomotion, which means they do really well in trees, so they're commonly found in forest. Here they'll hunt uh, mice and rats and help to aid in pest control. Corn snakes are really cool in that they have a flat belly and that helps them climb. Things just like this tree here. It helps them climb up the trees to get into nests to find food. You can find them in the coastal plains uh, in Georgia in more of like uh, ditches where there's like water or slow, slow moving rivers. They like a lot of vegetation and are actually nocturnal. So most times during the day, you actually won't see them. They'll probably be under a lot of vegetation, but at night, that's when they like to forage for food like uh, crawfish and little invertebrates or even small fish once they get to be bigger. Salamanders are really cool. As we talked about earlier, they metamorphosize throughout their lives. They like to live in streams or small ponds that dry up so that there aren't any fish in them because fish like to eat salamanders. As they get older though, most of them will come out onto land. Here, they like to dig around in the soil and live in the detritus under leaves and under rotting logs. So this is a southern toad. So toads in general live usually in forests where there's lots of things like insects for them to eat. And they'll also usually live near water um, so that they have a place to lay their eggs. Similar to salamanders, toads like to live in wet areas where they can access water and land. They also start out in the water as tadpoles. And then when they get older, they come onto land. They like to live in wetlands or areas that are really low and around streams and small ponds. So eastern box turtles, and a lot of turtles in general, like to live on the land and in the water. The place where you can find these guys the most is in wet forests or next to ponds. Turtles are cold-blooded, which means that their body temperature is reliant on their environment. So when it gets cold outside and they need to heat up a little, turtles often will lay out on logs just like this to get heat from the sun. If you just go outside, there's habitat all around you. you. See this fallen log? It looks kind of gross, all these mushrooms on it, right? Well, if you look under it, a lot of times you'll find cool, um, you'll find animals like salamanders hiding up under it, the leaf litter. It's important to leave habitat like it is, like all the leaves that fall from the trees in the fall. By raking them up, you're taking away important habitat for animals. These leaves on the ground are great places for salamanders, snakes, and toads to all hide under for safety and for warmth in the winter. And that is all we have for habitats. Make sure that next time you guys are out and about, make sure to look up, down, in between the logs, and underneath the leaves to see what kind of animals you can find around you. and I'm a wildlife major here at the Warnell School of Forestry and Natural Resources. I'm currently at Warnell because I love the thought of science both in a laboratory and outside. Right now I'm studying river otters and how tick parasites can impact them from the day-to-day -day basis. Hi, I'm Cassidy Scott. I'm a third he year here at Warnell and I'm studying wildlife sciences. I'm studying here because I love animals and I love the outdoors. And being in this major, it lets me experience and study both of them. This summer, I'm going to be participating in a study abroad in Bhutan. I'm really excited because I get to go see
see and track snow leopards and talk about conservation projects with snow leopards in the Himalayas.